Forget cables. Switch to Frontier. The Fios Triple Play brings dedicated 100% fiber optics to your home. Fios TV, 15 by 5 internet and digital phone for $119.99 per month with two-year price protection plan on qualifying service. FrontierPacificNW.com. Okay, welcome to the warm-up. Kevin Calabro on the go-to guy, Jim Moore. All kinds of intrigue today. It's been uh, noted on the uh, Rockstar and Graz program by their spies that uh, Pete Carroll and the front office of the Seahawks was attending in College Station, Texas. Why else would you go to College Station, Texas? A pro day workout by one Ryan Tannehill. While at the same time, in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, the Alabamans we're having their pro day, and they've got like five guys that could go in the first round, two of them linebackers. What gives, Jim? Well, I don't know, because you keep hearing that Tannehill it just keeps moving up the draft order and a, as high as number four for Cleveland, but the Browns I saw were at Alabama. Pat Shermer and their GM were at Alabama's pro day, so maybe they're not as interested in, in Tannehill at number four because it seems like it was it's a reach for Tannehill at number four. I thought early on we were talking about Tannehill. Mm -hmm. He was a reach at number 12. Yeah. But now with Flynn in town, why in the world would they be interested in Tannehill? Well, uh, and, and at number 12, what are the chances of them getting Tannehill at number 12, realistically, when it looks like Miami's got a need for a quarterback as well at number 8, and all the mock drafts right now that we're seeing anyway, Tannehill's going to number 8. So, all right, let's, let's take that aside. Why would they take Tannehill? Well, the way I look at it is Josh Portis is probably not going to figure in their plans. You get a guy like Tannehill who's like the prototypical Big time NFL quarterback. I mean, he's got all those what's Brock call them the measurables, right? And and he was on their radar before he he, he started off this year, where he got hurt and his stats were were off, obviously. And then he got hurt at the end of the year and he wasn't in the in the senior game. But uh, and he's an athlete. He, he's more of a, a prototypical type quarter six four. So well, he ran a, he ran a four six forty. He's got I mean all that great stuff. You know, and here, here you've got Flynn at $10 million, relatively low, guaranteed dough. you got Tavares with one year left. I can see why they would want to go out and get another quarterback with that number 12 pick. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't see it happening, though. I, I think I could see him going for a quarterback in the second or third round, but not wasting, well, I shouldn't say wasting that pick on Ryan mm -hmm. Tannehill, but I mean, I would think they need a pass rusher. They need a pass rusher with that number 12 pick the way things stand right now. Get another quarterback and groom him. Get a, a second or third round, but getting Ryan Tannehill at number 12 when you need a pass rusher to go with Clemens or you might need a linebacker like yeah. Keekley if you don't re-sign yeah. Hawthorne. But remember, this is the same group that went out and got Clemens uh, in, in, a, in, a, in a trade from Philadelphia, remember? He was seldom used. Raheem Brock was another guy. He was kind of the third wheel there behind Freeney and Mathis. He came in and did a nice job. So. They've demonstrated that they've been able to do this in the past, go out and, and, and pluck these guys out of other systems and, and rework them and put them out there at, with results. And we know that it's a quarterback's league. You can't get enough of these guys. It'd be nice to have a young guy back there behind it. How old's Flynn? 24, 25 years old? Wow. He'd be, he'd be the old guy on the staff, wouldn't he? Yeah. Well, actually, it'd be Tavares. But anyway, it's a, it's a matter of looking at the quarterback as the most important position on the football field and planning for the future. I think that's why they were in College Station. We'll talk about it today, beginning at 3.